What's going on Jello family? I've been monetized for about three weeks now and I have about 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. In this video, I'm gonna show you how much YouTube pays me for 3,000 subscribers and about three weeks of monetization. Granted, it's not as much as you think, but we are starting off and we're kind of in a niche that is generally education niche, but I've been showing this a lot of Tesla content, Tesla videos. And I feel like it'd be fun for us to just kind of go over how much I make on, on this channel, right? I also have a business finance channel that does not been monetized yet, which is called Angela Carl's Talks. I think the monetization there will be a lot higher when that actually gets monetized. But right now, we just have one channel called Angela Carl's that uh, originally was kind of supposed to be business finance, but it eventually turned to Tesla. So here's some of how much we made. For the past three weeks, we have made about $219.91. If you look here in analytics, it says last 28 days, uh, we've got around 277,000 views, as well as 3.1 thousand watch hours in addition of 209 subscribers. And it is about, it's growing. It's definitely growing. And what I've kind of learned in this period is that your videos, some will do well, some won't do well. And it's really important for you to just consistently post, right? I think as humans, we get very, very, we get very discouraged if a video gets one views, two views, three views, four views, right? And don't get discouraged because of that, right? You'll put so much time into filming, editing a 10 minute video and you're like, well, no one watched it, right? But here is how I basically kept doing it, right? I understand the algorithm just wants you to post a lot. And if you have a good video, it has great information, people will watch it, right? And you'll get discouraged. Oh man, I only got a few views on this video. But what you need to do is that you actually really need to turn all your long form videos into shorts, right? That's the secret to get more views. That's the secret to grow your channel. You need to realize right now in this time period, Meta, TikTok, YouTube, Google, they're all pushing forms uh, they're all pushing their short form content right now, right? Um, as someone who's been at YouTube, been at Google, I know that these big tech companies, right? It's kind of more like a copycat type of vibe where they'll basically try and copy each other because whatever one th whatever thing is working for one company will work for another company and that will lead to more advertising revenue, it leads to more money for the company. So TikTok really made short form content popular um, during 2020 and we've seen it blown up. That's why Instagram is pushing so much engagement towards reels. That's why YouTube is pushing so much engagement towards shorts. So what you need to do is that your long form videos, you need to turn it into shorts, right? And that's how you make more money from your YouTube channel. And that's how you can actually get monetized, right? In a sense, it's very hard to get monetized via shorts. You need 10 million views, but the views you'll get from shorts will drive everyone to your main page and your main long form videos because you'll get more views, you get more eyeballs on your channel and people will be curious, who is this person posting, right? So that's basically what I did. I essentially made $219.91 because I was able to get monetized. And how was I able to get monetized? A lot of it was hitting the monetization requirements by YouTube through using the shorts and long form videos, right? So if you post a long form video, use the tool called opus.pro. I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not sponsored. I don't get any commission from them at all. But if you use opus.pro, that will turn all of your long form videos into shorts, right? So I use this feature opus.pro. Make sure the video is about 10 minutes long, eight minutes the least, because eight minutes is where you can add mid-roll ads to your video. So just really make sure, if you're gonna make a video, make it at least eight minutes long because you have an ad in the front, middle, and end. Um, because even though you're not monetized right now, when you do get monetized in the future, you can still um, turn on the ads and then you'll get the, the middle the mid roll ads through your channel. So do that. Create a long form video, make sure it's really good, make sure it's really nice. I use CapCut to edit all my videos. And then I use opus.pro to turn into shorts. And then I post that all through YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and that grows your channel. And that's how I was getting like quarter million views every three weeks. And my channel just, I just started taking it seriously like about a few months ago because 
I started realizing, oh, this is the process, this is the workflow, right? And that's how you start generating income. So I made only $219 in three weeks, which is like, what? Not that much, um, probably 70 bucks a week, but it's better. I was just so excited because YouTube is such a grind and I never made any money. And then I just started taking it seriously and I started making like 200 bucks, right? And I'm excited to see what the future holds for it, right? But it's it's um it's really fascinating how if you just take something seriously, it can start working out, right? And we I, I think for, for my channel, right, the avenues of resources right now <clears throat> have just been through YouTube, Google AdSense, right? And I remember um YouTube um just like seeing how many creators are making so much uh money. And how a lot of the employees at Google, they all, a lot of them working at YouTube wanted to be YouTubers, right? But um, we never really kind of like took it seriously. And we just kept growing the platform. So I, I think as YouTube continues to grow, YouTube becomes like, is the one of the best search engines for video? You're gonna see a lot more creators becoming, um, you know, more, more, um, more affluent, especially as the AdSense begins to grow, right? Uh, last year, uh, when we were working on um, the YouTube Creator Program, I remember that just being an idea, uh, and now it's manifested as of February 1st, 2024, where creators can actually get paid for shorts. Although it's not a lot of money, it's something, right? It's something to actually get monetized for your short form content, and it's actually really exciting. So I only see it growing more and more, especially as Alphabet continues to get more market share from Google Analytics, from YouTube, from advertisers who want to advertise on the YouTube platform because you're seeing creators like Mr. Beast, honestly becoming one of the most famous people in the world and it's all through YouTube, right? So I currently made $219.91. I'm actually very excited to see what that is 10 years from now and just allowing this to just compound stack over time and just making videos that I enjoy making. So for you guys, $219, that that was so exciting for me. And I hope this inspires you to make videos, right? So like I said before, if you want to make a video, if you want to get monetized on the channel, make long form content that you actually enjoy. For me, I enjoy making content on Teslas. For me, I enjoy making content on business and finance and Carlos Talks because I have a background in business at UCLA, um, worked heavily on business stuff at Google, and I don't feel exhausted making these videos because I actually genuinely enjoy it and I genuinely enjoy helping people with these videos. So when you guys create your channel, make sure it's something you enjoy. If it's gardening, if it's investing, if it's going to shows, concerts, let that be your channel. Don't make it hard for yourself just because you want to, you think you have to have the next greatest idea and on a topic that you don't care about. So make things you care about, create those long form videos that are eight minutes long or longer, the longer the better, edit it through opus.pro. It's an AI tool that just chops all your videos into 30 second videos or less or whatever time frame you want. Post that on YouTube Shorts, you'll get a ton of views because YouTube is posting and really pushing the algorithm to show short form content. You'll get subscribers there. They'll start watching your long form videos because they start trusting you through the short form content if you're producing great content. And then this will allow you to get monetized and you just be able to generate Google AdSense revenue. Keep everything PG, right? I cannot stress this enough. YouTube, Google is a billion dollar corporation that has advertisers. These advertisers want to advertise on family friendly platforms because that's how they sell their product. Major corporations like Airbnb, like Honda, whatever it may be, they advertise on my channel because I keep it extremely family friendly. And you want to approach your YouTube channel as a business. I know it's cool to, you know, kind of be crazy or do like stuff that won't get monetized. But if you really want this to be a business, take this from me as a, a business manager from UCLA, someone who's worked in the PM realm at Google at Meta. Advertisers want to work with family friendly channels. 
the more family friendly channels you have, the more AdSense, the more revenue you can generate. Also, the more brand deals, the more partnerships you can get for your corporation, for your business, whatever it may be, because you are seen as someone who is easily marketable and someone who fits in this mold like okay this guy this girl is marketable we want to help you work with them to push our product to sell things to consumers and when you have a more family friendly kind of content more family friendly type of our persona about yourself you're able to generate more revenue for you your company your brand whatever it may be and your business is more able to thrive okay i hope this helps jello family we've made about 219 dollars from about three weeks of monetization and we're going to just keep growing please follow angelo carlos talks please follow angelo carlos youtube channel um, both are amazing channels. One's about personal finance and investing and podcasts. And then the other one is about just business tech Tesla. And both channels are continuing to grow because we use that method of watching videos or creating videos eight minutes or longer, using Opus.pro to create short form content, allowing that to get us more subscribers and views. And then that allows us to be monetized on Google and get YouTube, Google AdSense. And this journey is extremely fun. So if anything, I hope I inspire you guys to jump on this journey with me to grow your channel. Don't be afraid to press play because you can do it. I, and the one thing in the Silicon Valley I've just learned is that imperfect action defeats perfect action any day, right? Because you do not want to be a victim of analysis by paralysis. Just keep going, press play, post the video. Don't feel like you have to be perfect. I'm probably not gonna edit this video at all and just keep it super chill. Because I know that as long as we get a product out, as long as we can improve on that product time over time, it's gonna help a lot of people. And um, we're gonna achieve what we need to achieve. Jello family, love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate you guys so much. As usual, keep chasing greatness. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you later, Jello fam. Peace.